Sebastian Coe holds the world record in the men's 800 meters, and the American record has held since 1985 when it was set by Johnny Gray. And here is Johnny Gray in the finals, 1992, the four-time U.S. champion, American record holder, trying to erase poor performances in the past in big meets. Told me he's been bored on his two days since his semifinals, but he's ready to run fast. And he says the way to beat this man, Mark Everett, is to go out very quickly. He says, make Mark run the first lap fast, and Mark will crumble in the second lap. Everett, three-time U.S. champion. And also here, George Kirsch was fourth at the trials in 88. The worst possible place to finish. He's clearly one of the top three in this race. He should make the team. Here are the lane assignments. Keep your eye on lane four, Jose Perea. He's the one that could break the top three up of Gray, Everett, and Kirsch. Perea, the NCAA champion, a sophomore from the University of Tennessee. Won his personal best in the semifinal. And the race underway. They'll run in lanes until the back stretch when they'll break over. And uh, Johnny Gray moving out quickly. Also coming up is uh, Davis. And it is Terrell Davis in lane one that leads the field down the back stretch. Johnny Gray has led all the qualifying races. Says he likes to lead now, didn't used to. But he feels that's his best way to run. And it is Johnny Gray that goes out to set the early pace. Stanley Redwine settles into the second spot now. Moving into the third place is George Kirsch as they hit the home stretch. Look at the long stride of Johnny Gray. He told me he wore long distance spikes in the first two rounds, but he's going to wear his sprinter spikes in this race. Johnny Gray leads the field through the first 400 meters. Wow, he must have on those sprinter spikes, 49.46, that's world record pace. And Great. he's picking it up. Gray is picking it up indeed as they head for the back stretch. Johnny Gray in front, Stanley Redwine still there second, running third, George Kirsch. Aki Clark moves into fourth, Terrell Davis is fifth. And Mark Everett is trailing badly at this point. Mark Everett is sixth as they approach the turn for home. And Johnny Gray still airing it out. Stanley Redwine still there in second. And it is George Kirsch in third as they hit the home stretch. Johnny Gray has led throughout. And Johnny Gray leads the field through the stretch. Here comes Kirsch to take over second. Johnny Gray airing it out. Mark Everett with a big charge on the outside. Now comes to second. Gray wins. Everett second. And with a lunge, getting third was Perea of Tennessee. 142.81, the best time in the world this year. A new Olympic trials record. And only two tenths off the American record. An outstanding run for Johnny Gray. Johnny Gray. What a home stretch battle. Johnny Gray's looking around. He's going to win easily. But look what's happening behind him. The man in black on the left of the screen, Mark Everett. He returns from oblivion and zooms by the field. There he leaves George Kirsch into third place. Everett will finish second. But right here, the man in orange, Jose Perea, comes by and he nips Kirsch. Perea gets third. Perea just edging George Kirsch for the final spot on the U.S. 800-meter team. And what a tragedy for George Kirsch. He was fourth four years ago as well. And Mark Everett, what a late charge he had. A dangerous tactic, but it paid off. Well, he calls himself a daring person. And he was much too daring. He was 15 meters behind Johnny Gray around the turn. But look at number 95 fly. Mark Everett running under 25 seconds for his last 200 meters. This is the guy that said he could have made the team in the 400 meters. He just rips right by George Kirsch to get second place. And Everett and Gray with an embrace. Oh, he's taking his place. Go. They'll lead the U.S. 800-meter team to Barcelona. Gray's time, 142.80, fastest in the world since 1988, fastest ever in the United States. Everett second, Perea just getting third, and George Kirsch passed in the last 15 meters of 1988, misses the Olympic team by three hundredths of a second.